Good morning guys, back here in the village. Today I'll be talking about some topic, but uh, before then, I wanna show you what's going on here. Uh, it's our last uh, days here in the village. So we are trying to pump water. Can you imagine this water? And we need to clean, we'll have to clean this kitchen to look beautiful. This water is coming all the way from the river. Can you imagine that? I have a machine there, a Honda machine. It's very powerful. So we are pumping water, seriously pumping water. We wanna pump the water all the way to come up to that point everywhere. So I'm happy that I, I have a river next to me that I can easily pump close to I don't know. I don't know even how many liters this is. It could be easily 20,000 liters to I think I think that's even so little. Maybe 100,000 liters. Mawera, how are you? You can say hello to to the to the camera. Hi amazing people. My name is Oli Mawera and thank you so much both for giving me a chance. Yes. We are here trying to fill up the fish pond with clean water. Yes. And then straight after that, from the river. Yes, straight from the river. Then after that, I guess we're gonna feed the fish. Yeah. First, then, you guys can clean here. Mm -hmm. Then, then, then you. Then they enjoy the food. Then they gonna they enjoying fresh water. Yes. My question is, yeah. how many liters of water do you think we have here? I more than I guess so far it's more than seventy thousand. Honestly. Seventy thousand. More than that. Yes. Because Could we be. take that. That first of all, you have to fill that, that space. Yes, there's a space over there. Yeah. yeah, I want once the water reaches, uh, this level. yes, right there we stop because also this water comes with a lot of pressure yeah. and it creates, uh, it can create uh, like bust. Yeah. So, guys, this is only Mawera, uh, he has a YouTube channel, guys. Please check him out. We are pumping this water over 100,000 100, liters straight from the river all the way here guys we have at least uh i believe five thousand to ten thousand fishes here because one fish can actually lay a million eggs can you see <laughs> then we have so many young ones that even we don't know how many are, of them are there so on this other side these fish ponds they have really let us down but we will see how we will deal with, with them okay we will see how we'll deal with them However, when this is done, yeah. I think we can refill the other one. Yeah, refill the other one. Okay. And then water here. Or maybe we can put a little bit here, yeah. just a little bit. We see how it's gonna behave. Yes, just a little bit. We can put a little bit here. Yeah. Just a little bit up to that level. Yeah. Because I, I you know also there's a, an idea that the first day we filled a lot of water here and it brought a lot of pressure. Yeah, Yes, started leaking from there. Yeah. You know? So... Maybe you can put some up, up to this level. We see how it's gonna behave. Yes, up to that level. Just a little bit. Yeah. Then we fill the other one. But if, it, uh, if it's able to retain this water up to now... Yeah, that's naturally... It's supposed to be like that. This water comes from below. Yeah, so yes. Or maybe I can use this as... I don't know. Maybe like... For ornamentals. For ornamental only. Ornamental only. But we will see. We will we see. see. We'll see what we. But maybe in future I may, I may, I may be forced to, to just can, cover it, to cover cement it, it all. But now you're like, uh, you're gonna, maybe you're gonna block the water channel, the underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the problem. problem. Yeah. So Another thing is, you see right here. Yeah. We could pump all this water out, and we dig down here, and ah, so cement right. it. That's another idea. You know, we so cement that, so that the water does not pass below to, under this. Yeah, 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 that's another idea. Yeah, we can actually cement deepen it. Deepen it. Deepen and, and cement below, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that the, this water cannot can still remain. Yes. That's another idea. All right, guys, that's what's going on here. We are seriously pumping water. And uh, this one, since we pumped day one, it has reduced from here to here. That means uh, there is a leakage here. But most probably, uh, sorry, I'm jumping. Okay, okay. 
you can see already there is water passing here so i don't know which water is this maybe it could be even the first fish pond you know <laughs> we need to find this channel this one because this water for sure is coming from up there you know so but all in all is we will figure it out if things really go very bad we'll have to cement this and, and and have it as a swimming pool but not really a swimming pool a fish pond which is a swimming pool technically what i mean is we will always then have to pump water straight from the river you see i have a very strong machine imagine that's over 100 meters over 100 meters guys okay that's also another thing that if i plant grass here i could be able to water my home any time of the year any time so it means if i really want to make sure i don't feel like oh the rains have go have gone away and things like that there's no grass i could easily water my entire compound you know direct from the river guys naturally that's a huge blessing i don't take it for granted so look the pipes we've joined the pipes and they're doing very well and the honda machine ah, this machine is tough guys if you want to buy a machine buy a honda you know see Uh, Honda, look how far it is. A hundred meters. Honda machines are the bomb. I'm not just trying to push for them. But you see that machine? It's the one that started building the villa. From the ground, because the place where we build the house is very watery. Look at this. Now we've come with a new technology where we bought a wire mesh, okay? So first we put this one okay as a barrier to the animals then we put a wire mesh like this and then plant the seedling okay yeah i need to get more wire meshes more more of them i need to get so that we can actually uh protect these trees that we've planted this is one of the best fruits we have here and i'm happy they they put this wire mesh on it like this See? we need to add more today wow so you see like here if even if the tree grows the cow can come and just reach here and if the tree grows more than this we move the we move this wire mesh up the simple technology but very effective to protect trees especially if you have animals in your compound like me i have horses here i have all sorts of animals you can imagine but i've sold my goats and sheep reason being my trees i want to protect the trees as much as i can i'm very happy to see this and now we water them uh, i'm very happy now this is an investment you see you put this thing here and it's an investment very much see all this area didn't have trees we've done that also here we've done the same wire mesh then the fruit itself same as here now we have a mango see very well okay i'm gonna go in the house eat some food because i've not had uh, breakfast i woke up early in the morning i went to fix some stuff far away and uh, now i'm back home trying to figure out what we are doing today yet i am here to tell you today's topic okay i saw your reaction yesterday maybe it's time for you to move to africa you know time to move to africa maybe because imagine to, and today is not sunny so my solars may not charge that much i want this tree also to be to be surrounded by that wire mesh you know this one dried up but we decided not to remove it we just planted another one next to it and this tree is this one grows to be very big it's that tree that you see over there uncle 
Haujakutana hapa na hao panya. Amechinga hilo ya jioni alikuwa anapanda panda ndio hii ni ndio nilinyemerea mpaka nikampata. Oh. Hiyo panya imenisumbua. Ni hiyo 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 ilikuwa inapanda ukusi. Eh hey, it's a big rat. Huyu ni ule mkubwa? Uncle told me he found this one rat. You know guys, we've been facing major problems now. We've decided to clean here and take take all the the broken broken uh, this one's here, the broken tiles. This, all the broken tiles. I'll use them when I'm building uh, the small villas. We'll use these tiles to put them maybe on the ground or on the walls for decoration, things like that. Because I really don't want to throw them away. They can be used a hundred percent. Here we have we have our rabbits. As you let chakula easy leo. Hey. Ah, guys. Those are the rabbits. I think tomorrow I'll take my big bull to see if I can sell it. I'm looking for 600 USD. That's around 75,000 Kenyan shillings. The big bull. Uh, the reason is uh, I just want to minimize the number of animals I have in the compound. And also right now, a lot of my neighbors have done a lot of farming. So there's no place to graze the cows. Like here, my neighbor, what he has done is he has um, he has sprayed he sprayed this area. That's why you see the the grass looks dry. He sprayed here, which is not okay at all. I don't. You know nowadays the the big corporations are coming to Africa aggressively even telling what farmers can should do you know so but here my land comes all the way up to this side so probably we can we can uh, bring the cows to graze on this small lot here and not graze this that I don't know if it's a, a yellow boy or a, an old man I can't see very well there so as I was telling you is my neighbor has prayed here because he wants to he wants the weeds to die but all in all is uh, we will find a way we will find a way okay let's go to the house and get breakfast then we talk about today today my solars will do very poor very poor you see they will do very poorly So we have three batteries. Is that 65? Wow, I'm shocked. 69, 68. Wow. I thought it would be like 30. Wow, I'm shocked. 65, that's okay. The whole day maybe to reach 90 something. So in this type of uh, situation, what we do is we minimize the usage of power in the house. For example, today we'll turn on the big light. We have the very big light, the snake light that lights the entire house. We will turn it late a little bit. Instead of six or seven, it will go maybe eight, eight p.m. or nine p.m. So by that we minimize we minimize the 
the power. But I'm very happy that we have an off the grid home that does not require me to pay bills, bills, bills. I'm running away from bills. I don't like paying bills. I like to spend money and that thing will sustain itself in one way or the other. I... Well, everything is okay. Right. I guess the water is almost to uh, level. Okay. Yes. Yes. You know also one thing you have to understand, when the water is so much, mm -hmm. the fish have different climate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right now. Like right now it has changed. Maybe it was it was hot or cold. warm. Now it's cold. Yeah. Yes. So That's what is happening, guys. Hey, this machine is powerful guys this machine this machine does not play Honda so we want it to reach at that level right there then we stop Uh, what are two if you take a visa? To this, but but I, I don't see the major difference because this water will again go to that. Uh, it's the one that goes there. Oh. Then from there it's pumped up. Yeah, it has gone up to that level. Yeah, that's where they lay their eggs over there. Yeah. So you can give it another five minutes. Then you remove it and you, you give, you can even give this a little bit, yeah. then you give the other one, yeah. yeah. Even I've seen there's some water leakage already coming from below on the other side. From the other side? Yeah, below. So this water has already reached the other, the, other the other side. Let me show you. It has already reached. So it means this water runs below. Underground. Underground. Yes. But you know, like for you, you know, this area is always the water levels are very high. So yeah. Any, any extra water that comes in, yes. It's very easy uh, activated on the ground. Yes. You see, already water is flowing from here. You see? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a lot, but that's already a lot. Yeah. yeah. You see, even on the other side, there's already started sweating. Oh. It's sweating already. Okay. Okay, Mawera, let me go to the house and have breakfast. So guys, that's what's going on here. We just decided we're going to pump more water. But it's the first time I'm pumping water to that major fish pond. It can survive without me pumping water 100%. And also, the way it's coming gloomy and cloudy, it may rain any time this coming week. So, so let's go we eat. Kenya. Kenya is okay. Yeah. How are you, Kenya? Kenya, 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 go to Matata, Kenya, this is Katakil, eh, whoa, <laughs> okay, say hello, ah, yeah. let's go, Rocio, I get some, okay. I was thinking, can I push a little bit of water to this plant, which plant, like uh, those ones, like I want to spray them to remove the, the, the dirt, because that's oh. not good for them. Okay. But I'm thinking I can do something. Okay, just do. I hope it doesn't wash you. Okay. You have to make it less. Yeah, I already. I need more strength. Okay, let me help you then. You just have to do like, like this. So we are washing those ones over there. Hey, Mawera, imagine you can irrigate the entire home <laughs> with that generator. <laughs> imagine, guys. I think it's... 
Now it's okay. You see that tree that we planted over there? That one grows to the big, it's the same tree over the other side. I've seen people say like I'm planting trees next to the house. Yeah, yeah. People are even concerned about it. No, the thing is, uh, this, this don't have big roots. If you... Another thing is, this house people just sit like this. There is a whole... Foundation. From here. House. The hole up to, up to somewhere there. Deep. And the only tree which is very close to the house is, is, that, is one? that one. I don't know. Only. only. Because a tree like that, you can't tell me it will come and affect the house here. I said it's a tree that will have uh, big roots. If it was that uh, eucalyptus, yes. that could be something else. Because yeah. They are roots, they are roots go deeper. Yeah. yeah. Very deep. If it was that one, it was, that could be another And also, if we ever see something like that, we will just eliminate the tree. Yeah, just, uh, but the thing is, that tree uh, has been there since we started building. Yeah, it was small. It has grown. That tree is over five years now. Yeah, it could be here. Around there, five years. Five years. Five years. Okay, Rocio, let's go. I get some food, ma'am. Guys, yeah, still we are preparing. Hey, Kenya. Kenya. So we are preparing to leave soon. So I'm preparing everything, putting everything in place. Yeah. How many liters of water do you think this is? Like, so that one, that tank over there is 10,000. 10,000. Okay. That tank. There must be like five of them here. Five? I guess here we have more than 70,000. Yeah, me, I'm thinking 100. 70,000 and above. Because 10 of those. 10 of those. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's also on the other side. Okay, let's go eat. Hey, Kenya, Kenya likes to run, it's like a dog, you know, that cat that follows you. Yeah, like... Kenya is killing my plants. It's killing? Yeah, because she come and blaze here and look what it does to the plants. Like, she sleep on the plants. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. But this one is doing very well already, you see? Yes, yes. My only concern is when it brings fruits. Yeah, it will be nice. You just... And the birds that will come and splash this berries. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. No. The one that does that is bats. Not bats. <laughs> <Not. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Captured on camera. <laughs> Captured on camera. This one is, look, you, you plug plant uh, like fruits and you go and enjoy in the house. That is, you know, even those ones actually have fruits. You know that? These plants that you planted, these ones that are growing, these ones. These ones also have. Yeah, yes. And also that is a yam. It will produce. Yeah. We have a yam here, guys. It will also produce. Yeah. See? Wow. Okay, let's go eat. Guys, I was not able to fix the kitchen uh, due to financial reasons. But... God is good every day, you know. Probably I'll fix. We'll see the right time. Don't worry. The right time will happen. Yeah. The right time. It will happen. Yeah, because I want to show them my breakfast. Your breakfast? Ha, there are no potatoes today? No, sorry. Oh, the machine has no gas. Oh. I need to tell my weather to add. It has stopped working. Yes. Look now, village life. Actually, I think it's Mokia who brought us this. Mokia brought us this radio. And we discovered it yesterday. It was in the bag. So this reminds me when I was growing up here in the village, guys. And I want to show you how this radio looks like. It's very small. You can use solar to charge it. You can also, it has also a torch, even a small one over there. And here you can 
change from battery to solar you can even use this thing i think you guys saw these radios there's a time they used to be very popular in argentina there was something like this yeah. you can hold this look you can charge it even by by is it this way or this way you know this is more key ah, okay great love Mara is my, I'm more happy than ah, i'm really child. happy no this reminds me when we were kids now imagine I'm charging it, guys. Let me not break it, you know? <laughs> okay, now that we've charged it, we do like this and store it. Then we want to turn it on. So this one, you have to turn this button below. See, like this? So you have to turn below here, below the radio. I may need to put an aerial, you know, like yeah, next time. Yeah. I'll try to see if we can. <laughs> yeah, the, torch. the torch is working. until we get we get the right is there a, oh, 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 what is that <laughs> Let, what, did, what did you touch here you see uh, radio alarm alarm <laughs> oh and even has a light here like <laughs> oh yeah look So this is like a security a survival radio. Yeah, I feel like this could be like a survival radio. And a torch. Look, it has a torch, guys. Can you see? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Off. And also, you can charge it. Look. Oh. I has another one. What's going on? Why is it on, man? Okay, Kenny. Why is it on? Can you stop? Oh, it's showing it's charging. What's going on? Yeah, when you take it down, it shuts. So there's uh -huh. an, another torch. Let's see. Oh, wow. Hmm. I think it uses a sensor. I'll give this. I, I really didn't want to gift it, but Maybe I may end up giving Uncle Ogut. <laughs> Actually, it's very useful. On a tree, you know. <laughs> okay, I don't want to get copyright. Let's go and try if it can actually go with the big system. Can it? because it has something here. It looks like a place you can put jack mm, pin. We need a special cable for that. Oh, this is yeah, smaller. Yeah, like jack and jack. 
Jack and Jack. Golette. You can also, guys, charge it. So, hey, this is actually high tech. High, high tech, guys. DC direct charge. Guys, because we are living, and honestly, I really love this radio. This is the type of radio I keep. Not because I can't afford a bigger radio, but I keep it to remind me where I came from when I was growing up as a kid. We used to have this type of small radios and they were our best friends. You know, nowadays people have phones. During those days, we used to have this one, especially a radio that can go to FM. Eh? And, and we, have, we used to have AM. Even there's a one called shortwave. You know, FM means frequency media. I think, I, I think, I think it, that's what it means. So, now, I've decided, because we are leaving home, it's honestly unfair, even if I love this radio so much, and the way I've shown you is you can charge it here using solar, you can charge it directly here, and it's also a security, it can work as a torch, you know, like here, and also you can use it as, do you know? So, like an alarm. So I've decided I give this to my uncle. But really, now that I love it so much, I'll, I'll give him a condition. I'll tell him, uncle, I'm gifting you this. But it's still mine. <laughs> I don't know if that's honestly gifting. So, so, so the reason is that I want him to keep it safe until when I come back, I, we can still enjoy. Or we can still share the same. So let me see if uh, I'll see my uncle around. Uncle Ogut. My uncle is a very nice man, very hardworking, but he's, um, he's a more calm guy. And also, my uncle's, I don't know if I should put his story here, but if you're, ah, I don't know, I don't know if I should say this. <laughs> no, maybe uncle should say for himself. I don't know if I should say this. You know, I don't know if I should say this. So I've seen him, he's right down there. So he will be very happy to receive this as a gift. I think he has already seen it. He hasn't. I'm, I'm hiding it. It's a very sophisticated machine. Very nice. You can even charge it using this. Can you imagine? It's just a... Uncle is putting water for the cows. Anko, kuna radio hapa, natumianga lakini nimeona venye tunaonda, tunaondoka huu natumia, yeah, sana, lakini uitunze, yeah. sababu ni radio ya maana zaidi. Yeah, sana, I'm telling my uncle he should, yeah. Yeah, this is a radio I use here, yeah. he should, here now he has, unatumia nini, sim? Yeah, ni sim, unatumia. Yeah, this is my uncle's <laughs> phone, <laughs> it's yeah. playing music. Uh, <laughs> Aika is listening. Aye. Sasa ibu tu aika hii tusikie. Eh. Eh. Umeona venye unaweza fanya? So uncle uses my the, the small phone to mm. play music. Hii una charge unaweka kwa jua yeah. inapata hiyo. Yeah. Ama kama hakuna jua mm. unatoa kaka kitu hapa. Hapa. Mm. Eh hivi. Mm -hmm. Alafu unazungusha hapa. Mm. Hivi. Mm. Unafanya nini? Mm -hmm. Una charge. Yeah. Asa hii ina charge hapo. Mhm. Alafu unarudisha. Mhm. Haya, ukiona danger, lazima hii kitu hii inaangalia hapa kwa Leon. Mhm. Ikienda hapa, ni wakati unatumia battery. Yeah. Battery is. I'm telling him when you use the other side is when you're using dry cells. This is the best radio ever. So you can use dry cells. And when it's dry cells, you have to turn this this way mm. when you're using other solar and other energies you do this way mm -hmm. ah yeah let's see uncle okay A radio radio okay uh radio on volume on uh-huh then tuning uh-huh tune tune uncle uh-huh after you to ski up. Uh -huh. 
Kusima ni hapa hapa tu. Ah kuzima ni hii vol ya volume. Zima enda. Aha. On. Kuzima is to switch off. Aya. Ukiwa na emergency. Emergency finya hii kitu kuja pande hii usikie. Eh, hmm. ama kuna emergency. Mhm. Sasa umeona kitu hapo umeamua ni emergency. Mhm. Ni hiyo. Aya. Na hiyo kingoro hiyo. Tochi. Mm -hmm. Tochi hapa. Yeah. I'm showing him spotlight. Yeah. Tochi ukimulika hapa hii ya juu. Mhm. Chup. Sinaona ndio hiyo? Mhm. Yeah. Aha. So this radio was given by Mokia guys, USA. Ngine Tochi eh yeye ni tochi tena eh hey. mm -hmm. lakini hiyo sasa ni wakati mm. i charge sasa hivi unaweka kitu yako hapi ina cha ina cha chipo jua asante sana aya aya ah asante mfano msuri hata nilikuwa na fikiria radio ndio maana naona na piga piga kama msiki pala pala oh yeah asante i go says he's been thinking of having a owning a radio yeah and now he's very excited asante thank you so much mokia actually this was a gift from usa hii imetoka america Oh asante sana. Yes. Asante. Hai yangu. Ya acha ni jote maji. Hai. Ina maji masaa imepita. Hai. Hai 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 uncle is very happy. You see for other people is they want big things. For other people is something small like that. You make somebody's day, you know. And you see in this life everything we come with we will leave it here. So sometimes it's just good to bring joy to someone. And also another thing I've learned is we as human beings, we like to amass wealth or to amass more. Let's say I have like, actually in the house, we have two more radios, uh, two more radios in the house. One I was given by Jamaican uncle, the small ones. And also we have the speakers of the, of the, the system that we have. But you see, something like that, I've, I've decided to give it to uncle because i am very sure for him it will give him more joy and he will even enjoy uh, because i will not be walking with this radio in the streets of argentina like this listening but for him that will keep him company as he as he fetches water or takes care of the animals around here you know that's actually my uncle brother to my my dad let me see what my horses are doing here rio they like to graze. This area is full of water. Rio, Papa. Rio. Rio, you guys like to graze here, Rio. Every day, Rio. There's nothing, Rio. All days you graze here, Rio. Uh, this area, this horse likes it because when it steps on, on this mud, the, the flies don't walk on it but the female one likes to stay clean you know malaika 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 mama you good you be a good horse huh you love you be a good horse malaika huh malaika mama malaika a beautiful horses Ah, I'm like a stop. <laughs> so that is what is going on here, guys. Uh, it's just preparations of us leaving. All the videos will be coming, will be more like that. But uh, I saw yesterday's reaction. Uh, you guys put a lot of reaction where I told you maybe it's a sign you come to Africa. I saw you people saying, other, like, okay, even if I don't have water, uh, we're talking about both sides of of the world and i saw different uh, arguments i'll leave it there i'll actually ask you if you've not watched yesterday's video which the title is maybe this is a sign africa maybe this is a sign for you to move to africa you should go check it out guys okay our skuma wikis are drying up probably will start watering them i'll ask uncle to start watering them yeah, because right now it's kind of dry season, kind of. 
dry season. Yeah, we should be watering them. That will help. Because the way things are going, not so well. Guys, I promptly visited our home. Old home. I'm greeted with my sister and Rag La Grand. La Grand, La Grand, Papa. La Grand, La Grand. Talk to me, La Grand. Talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have a special connection with this dog because I saved it from death. And anytime it sees me, it's excited, it's happy. I think when I. Since I saved it, it has never forgotten me. Like, Grandpapa, say hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have a deep connection. You know, this dog nearly died. Everybody didn't want to. They said it's dead. Then all of a sudden, hey, sister, which one is this one? Mark Jacobs. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Mark Jacobs has reached in the village. I bought it in New York City. Hey. Yes. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Just go and relax, La Grand. You know, Bosiamboka has so many puppies and also um, Simba. Oh! So many and they look so good. Like so mixed. How are you guys how are you guys feeding them? We give them Mugali, but I told Hello Baby to get those, how do you call them? Bones. Yeah. Yeah. But you haven't. Yeah, this is our relative, right? Yeah, she's from Tanzania, so you know she's very shy. You yeah. know, something like Guys, that. we have relatives in Tanzania also. Mm -hmm. Like, the, is it part of our grandfather and grandmother? Part yeah. of the families. You know, from we, mama's side. Uh, no, him is from grandfather's side. Yeah, but that's mama's lineage. Oh, yes, that's side. yes, that's yes, what I yes. To yes. Say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, our and mother's the, side, actually, most of them live over there. Yeah, the thing is, uh, they were born in Kenya, but most ladies were married across the border. Yeah. So now, hello, how are you? Hi. Yes, how is everything? Everything is okay. Yes. yes. Come say hello, at least people can oh, see. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Eh, ni mekuja kusalimia, ni meshika umbwa. Okay. Yeah, say hello there. Hello, beautiful family. My name is Tina Mara. I hope you've been seeing me on Ayamara's channel. Yes. Yes. Ah, yeah, guys. This is Tina. I call her aunt, you know. So the other day I came, uh -huh. let me now give you a story. Uh -huh. Nobody was, if you remember the day that I slept down there, then yeah. I came the following, no, yeah. I came very late up here. Okay. So I found everybody has slept. Uh -huh. So I woke up in the morning, uh -huh. but when, in the morning when I woke up, I realized there's somebody because I saw some nice shoes here. And there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I said, ah, it looks like there's somebody here, but uh -huh. I wasn't sure who it was. Uh -huh. So when I woke up in the morning, I'm about to drink tea. She's coming. Oh, Dimwango, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. The first person I was like, Dimwango, are, are you a YouTuber? <laughs> That's the first thing that came in my mind. Uh -huh. Then I said, you know, and I'm at home. It's Mara and mom who give us problems by welcoming people. people. Yeah. So I had just come from Zanzibar. Yeah. Then I was like, when I was here, this yeah. visitor wasn't here. But now okay. I just came. She's it's not, Now she, she came. Then I was like, there's something here. Yeah. And I don't know who... You know, I don't know what it is like exactly, uh -huh. you know, because nowadays from the past experiences that happen here, I'm yeah. super cautious. Okay. For me, when I'm here, I, I just don't want people who do YouTube because I'm like, I don't want problems. Okay. Basically that. Or if you're coming, I need to know you're coming, you're coming to do this and that. So she said that, I asked her, do you do YouTube? Yeah, she, she said, said yes, yes, I do YouTube. <laughs> that was oh. And now I felt like, me, I am finished. Okay. <laughs> you know, I asked her, when yeah. did you come? Yeah. She said, Actually, I don't know she told me yesterday. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Then I was like, okay, maybe. Maybe she was so told So you didn't tell her she's not our relative? She didn't no, know no, she... No, 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 no. We've okay. never met ever in my life. Okay. Now listen how the story was. Uh -huh. I said, so you came here yesterday? Yeah, I told her direct. For me, people who do YouTube videos, I don't trust them around me. Okay. Point blank. That's what I told her. Yeah. yeah. Then for her, she didn't explain anything. You know, she was just quiet. I told her, people who do content creation for me, I don't trust them at all, at all. Yeah. I said, let me go and ask Daddy about her. Then Daddy was like, oh, she's your aunt. She's all... Personally, I've never seen her. Personally. No, she... We she, met she, actually she, a few months ago, like, uh, during the party. Yeah, at the mm -hmm. party, she actually stayed at our place for during the party month. for a whole month. She for was, a whole month. She was among our, like, elite cooks, like, uh, in the v VIP. Mm -hmm. It was one lady called Afri African village, village cook and her. So 
So when it happens, I really don't yeah. do, I understand you later. Cook no, cook actually, down. you yeah. see, the thing, the thing is this. Uh, it's, it's that we've, we've tried to help yeah. people and then they have turned against yeah. that so bad that now we see it as, wow, this could be yeah, the next no. one. This could be a setup. You know, yeah, that's yeah, the next yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So ladies, personally, yeah. as a lady, I don't trust ladies around me completely. When okay. I see them, I'm like, yeah. hey, you don't know what will happen next. Mm -hmm. And now that she's here, now something funny yeah. is now, even when they told me, oh, she's your aunt and blah, 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 I was like, all right, because some, de some of them, I couldn't be knowing them or something like that. Yeah. But again, I was like, even those who are relatives, because it has happened before, they turned out to be something else. And you're like, eh, yeah. this is no, also, but, but, also when they but say, for her, oh, she's been here and she's been patient you know the thing about youtube is mm -hmm. when people don't become patient mm -hmm. like maybe you try to support them mm -hmm. and they want to be right right there right now mm -hmm. that is the major problem i've seen on youtube yeah but if people are patient uh, actually things open up for them yeah. things yeah. open up for them but me i understand your concern you had never mm -hmm. seen her you didn't know who she was you found her in the house, she does okay, YouTube. Okay, be honest. Because I uploaded that video and I was telling people, what did I tell you? Just be honest. What did he say? Uh, when we met? Yeah. Like that time? Hey yeah, guys, what did I tell I, you? I didn't know I would find myself area? here. Oh, in... people thought like maybe you are... I understand. Like you said that, oh, the first thing when I said, hey, D, you know me, I know you. Uh -huh. But, but you don't met. know yeah. her. Uh -huh. so but you yeah, saw me maybe once, once on Congress Mom's channel. Then, you know, when <laughs> Just people, once like, shop. And then, when you mm -hmm. see someone on camera or on video, may they may not look the same yeah. in person. So, and I understood you like... Oh, Deal. Actually, the big thing mm -hmm. is not even about that. It's mm -hmm. more that you do YouTube. Yeah, yeah. She and and, and and the thing about that is uh, when they we, heard that I do YouTube, yeah, that is even introducing you myself or you, getting to know each other. But, she was like, and then I, when she came and sat down, I'm like, D, I understand you, you know. Yeah, she but uh, then yeah, but with. yeah, but <laughs> actually, she's our aunt, guys. Yeah. I would not blame my sister or her. People it's people knowing each no, other. But, yeah, but yeah. again, the thing is, I don't know, but because of so many problems that have been caused before, personally, yeah. I yeah. keep distance to people who are in the name of I create content. And more so yeah. when they're in the same place. Because later, it turns out to be something different, honestly. You know? Yeah. But so, it's okay, sister. It's okay. You know? Yeah, I understand. No, right now, I understand she has been here. I don't see any problem with her. No, I, I've already her. known her. Like, she's more patient. You know, I, as I, thing, I told you the biggest challenge I see on YouTube. Mm -hmm is when even we as big YouTubers, we try to help someone, they become less mm -hmm. patient and then greedy so that somebody will say anything about you yeah. because uh, people saw them you, with, with you. you. Yeah, like so they'll that. say, oh, this is Oh, it. they will believe it. Yes. Mara, do you remember the guy who came here, rained on, literally dripping and yeah, on the, a motorbike? Do with, you remember? With a chicken. Do you remember? Yeah, so there's a guy who came here <laughs> one time. <laughs> we, we had refused to help him. But we said, okay. Not we had refused to welcome yeah. you, to no, help him. Yeah. He had come when everybody wants to do something else. Yeah. But now we were like, this guy has been rained on. He says he has come from, from I Nakuru. don't know. From Nakuru. Nakuru. With a motorbike. On a motorbike. That is like, guys, eight to ten hours on a motorbike. And it's been rained. Then we said, okay, we will welcome you. We did videos. I even asked my sister to do videos with this guy. Then when he left, he said, we chased him away. We did all this. I will then I called him. I said, bro, you're the same guy that, that I honestly even had to convince my sister uh, to do a video with you. Ah, Mara, you know I'm doing it for the content. I said, no, no, it's, it's too much. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. But at least you even you've not seen a lot of betrayers like because me i don't welcome such people i learn them from you because yeah. i'm like no matter how good you are to somebody no yeah. matter what they still go back and until you want but I just at the same time and now say, you'll eh. have to you have to balance because also when you say nobody at all even good people will suffer for no reason you know <laughs> that's the thing that's yes, the thing yes. now but, but, but the problem is identifying someone good at first yeah, I think the best thing which I would have happened in your case because mm -hmm. what's going on? Uh -huh. Okay, it would be maybe if my mom would have would have introduced Nobody. you. Yeah. But you you two just met so and So I told my subscribers about the story and they were like, "Oh, D was yeah, rude." Me, I wasn't rude. Okay. What did I just say? I, I do not the, trust people who do content. Shoes, yeah. Maybe yeah. I would have been more bad because. Yeah. Of the past experiences that yeah you experience. see that's the problem that's and this is yeah. what i said i do people not trust people who it. do youtube uh, uh, next to me that's what i said you know I'm there, being is, honest. there is a guy here we mm -hmm. not mention his name uh, there's a guy here 
who used to help me at my construction. Not really help, I, because I used to pay them. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I, I, there's nobody who has ever worked in my home and I didn't pay them. If that was the case, people would be at my gate saying, I, oh yeah, I was not paid. Mm -hmm. But now they use that story that I was not paid so that a viewer from America or anywhere mm -hmm. can, be, can be pity. Oh, yeah. my son, sorry, yeah. my daughter. This is how Maro <laughs> did this to you. Let me send you $50 yeah. to yeah. help you. What is your other problem? Oh. <laughs> You know, so yeah. I remember one time we had like a small party here. So I invited the boys who were helping me to come here. Mm -hmm. But this one guy was 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 uh, uh, helping in preparation of the meals. Yeah. So all of a sudden we were all of us, but the guy who prepared the food was missing. So I asked I asked my I asked uh, people here, hey, what's going on? Why is this guy? He's supposed to be on the table to eat because he was here preparing food. Yeah. I was told, oh, uh, uh, I think they have an issue with your sister. He left. <laughs> so I asked uh, my sister, hey, what's wrong with this person? He said, hey, this person, he's been reacting on me, saying very negative things, and me when I'm not around. When, when, yes, when she's not around. So again, when she came back home and she found the same person in our own home. So for her, she said, I don't want to deal with this guy. Me, I don't Let want him to go. see you here. That's what I told him. You know what? Me, I don't want to see you here. So, You're a very bad person. So, so what happened is, uh, me, I ended up saying, okay, maybe it's girl's thing. You know, maybe she's a little emotional and things. So I returned the guy back to my side. Hey, now he has become <laughs> a thorn on the flesh. <laughs> now, top thorn. I even told Mara, Mara, let this person go away. Mara is yeah. like, ah. You know, you know. I said, All you know, right. me, me. I like Later. Uh, me. Hey. I like. I like to give. I like. Actually, me and my story are very different. Yeah, people. Are very different. Yes. Me, very. me and my story are very. Me, I'm the guy who will give you a chance, and just mm. you, you decide if you wanna make it or spoil it. But for my me, sister, when I realize from, you, I'm supposed to go. cut you from the word, and I tell you direct on the face, <laughs> direct on the face. You, I don't want to see you here. I don't want anything to do but, with you. Please leave. Do you know how many people come here? And actually, even some of them are the worst, worst, worst. Mm -hmm. Hey, I can't even mention the name. I remember one of them yeah. came here. Coco Girl was here that time. Okay. You know. But now, when you welcome visitors, you can tell them, oh, don't mingle with so and so and so. Yeah, so you just yeah, let yeah. them be free. Yeah. So this guy came. So when he came, he said, oh, Dimongo, can I do a video with you? I said, how do you come without an appointment? Please yeah. go back. Yeah. Write to me. Let me listen to your case. Then I we will do. decide whether you are coming or not. Nowadays, even the way he abuses mom, eh, I'm like, I thank God my instincts were so right. I returned yeah. you right at the gate. But yeah. let me tell you, most of these people, most of them are neighbors, like people who come from within, within, within. Those are the worst most of the yeah. time. But sometimes those who come from far, it's 50-50. Some of them yeah, are uh, so good, yeah, you know? Yeah, and, and th that's the thing sometimes me I always say, that, you know, uh, you should at least, at least, not too much, but at least give some people a chance. Because maybe through that, their life would completely change to a better. Hey, but Mara, me, what I see betrayal here, you remember even the other guys who normally used to come here, those travelers or whatever, whatever. Yeah. And what, yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Me, when I look at it, I'm like, you know what? They just do your we, own we've, thing. We've had serious betrayal. We've had people... Uh, <laughs> but that does people not... People come here and cry and be like, oh... But, but that does not this make you... Like, like, personally, me, I'll say, this is not my home, so I have no much to say, but you my aunt. And does not mean that me uh, or my sister, we are saying don't come. But only that, in this case that she's explained, I will try to understand her from the point of view. Because and honestly, the only thing I said is, I don't trust people who do what? YouTube. YouTube. Around me. Yeah. That is what I said. I do not trust Yeah, even that. me, even I me right, right now in our home there, uh, we used to have a lot of uh, helpers. Mm -hmm. And when I say helpers, it's a good way to say workers. Yeah. You know, and, and when I say somebody's helping me, it does not mean he's helping me. I'm so actually free, paying, paying them. Yeah. I'm feeding them. They are sleeping. Some of them are sleeping in my own uh, roof. I'm giving them money and I'm giving them even better pay than... The people are uh, around here yeah. and also i'm giving them you know i used to give them opportunity to open channels to to be whatever they want to be you know yeah. but then some turn so hard hey <laughs> until you look and say oh my god i wish oh i did my not god. yeah why did like, i even? like me the guy that you chased i wish i did not deal with him because right now I would not be 
But the good thing is, you know, the beauty of these people is they always pump so much hate. And then when they, they can't, uh, like, contain that hate every day. Yeah. People just leave them alone. Yeah, yeah, but yeah it's true. Know. But anyways, those are some of the challenges that we face as, even out there, even as I travel, if somebody says, oh, D, come, I host in your home, I also have a YouTube channel, I just say, thank you so much, yeah. me, I'm not coming, I have somewhere else to go. Because it's not safe anymore. Just because they saw me with you, they'll say, oh, everything this guy is saying, saying is, is true. true. Yeah. You know, just because they saw me, me I, rem with you. I remember a guy who stayed in our home here for over a week. Now he called me the worst karma in Africa. <laughs> oh, wait, God, so many times. Stayed, free food, yeah. free, everything free. Now he, hey. the biggest video he has on his channel, maybe about me, calling me <laughs> the biggest karma in Africa. <laughs> if you search that video, you'll find it. The biggest karma in and Africa. What was, the, when he came, what did I say? Say the truth, when he came, what did he say? You didn't want him around mm -hmm. here. I said, let this guy do what? Go. They said, oh, do you, do you know you can't do that. You know, you just, somebody yeah. can just come and you say, let say, no, this person go, leave. I just told yeah. my parents, I told everybody, please release this person. Let him go. Right now, people believe I'm a, the biggest scammer in the world, guys. And the reason is just, I, we welcomed a guy in our home. We fed him food. He left saying all types of things, like my mom is, a, I don't know, witchcraft. And this is somebody who was eating, sleeping, was eating. everything. We, mm -hmm. And we never segregated, like we are eating this food, you eat the other one. So you see, when we have such things, we fear, we fear auntie. And now and, when and they happen, and I had said, please release this person, so, I feel like so, now I'm dead. <laughs> and, and, and I want people to understand our concern also. We are at home. We, our job is to do YouTube. We would want to protect already what we've had for so long, mm -hmm. then bring someone very new and then all of a sudden puts you under the bus and they don't care about you because some, some, some guy over there has promised them $500 to expose. Even there's a guy right now staying at my place. Him, he was paid, he showed him even the number of the lady. The lady wanted to give him $500 to go and do interviews with people who don't like me so that he can say so much bad things about me. Wow. This guy show, has showed me. Actually, maybe I should expose that number here. I don't know if that's okay. Uh, he showed me, said, boss, look, I was, I was offered this, I think a thousand dollars to just go and, and put my name under the rubble. But we are still here. We are still surviving. It has nothing. It has nothing to do with us. Yeah. But now the thing is, because this is home, you just have to be cautious who is coming. Who is... You remember even the setup that was here because of flowers? Yeah. Like a lot has happened here. When a lot has back, happened. Guys, you just like today to some careful. people brought me watermelon. I said, no, we don't buy things from the gate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they have come. <laughs> what if they're stolen? Yeah. Guys, one time, maybe you're very new here, is, is some small boys came, actually they came to my home. Mm -hmm. They had small flowers and they said, Marwa, uh, we are selling these flowers at a cheap price. By that time, I was still constructing my villa. I said, no, my villa is still under construction. I can't buy these small flowers and put them, and put them where will I put them? Still, the villa, trucks are coming, trucks everything are is coming. passing. So, you know, they came, they came back here and, so, and they found my younger brother and they sold the flowers <laughs> to him. To him. <laughs> Two days later, <laughs> G -G -K. lots of police officers showed up here with guns, with everything. <laughs> And they arrested my brother and my dad for like theft of flowers. And they were asking over 2,000 US. Imagine. Over 2,000 US, guys. And then I look back, I said, this was my, my trap. Because you're supposed to buy them. Yes. Actually, there's another story here. I don't know if we should say this about the sugar cane. But no, the case just... is over, you know? Yeah, it's over. The it's case finished. is over. The case is over. Some. Maybe we can. Yeah, put you it. can. You can give yeah, them part Because the case of it. is over. Yeah. So guys, there was a story here where a, some guy pretended to be my dad's friend. Mm -hmm. So he came in our home here. Once now we are doing very well. We are doing everything. Okay. Yeah. Then then this guy uh, pretended to be my dad's friend. He used to come with even the wife. They would eat here. They would drink. We even knew them as friends. You yeah, know? but me, I never involved myself with, with them. them. Most of the, yes. the so-called tribal friends. Yeah, tribal friends. Yeah. So what happened, guys, is uh, they told my dad there was some sugar cane. They wanted to go and 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 harvest mm -hmm. and and create uh, something they call is, is molas. Scaringuru. Scaringuru is like molas. Yeah. And then they would sell. 
So to cut the long story short is, my dad accepted to go and work with them. Then later what happened was, it turned out they put a case on my dad saying my dad went and cut the sugar canes. Uh, Destroyed the property. Like, like, like in, in a theft way. Like yeah. he, he went to somebody's uh, farm, cut the sugar cane without him knowing yeah. and, and took the sugar canes. And this is later, six months later down so, the line. And then they wanted over 25, 2. was it 2.8? 2. 2.8 2. 8 million. million. That's that like is, 2. Uh, that is like 25,000 US, US dollars. So, something funny that happened, by that time I was still constructing my house. This guy came to my construction, to my site. construction site saying, hey, your dad has been arrested. Go and we want you to go and bail him out. Yeah. So I said, me? So you, you, you don't know where his home is. Mm -hmm. You don't know where his wife is. That is my mom. So this guy got embarrassed. He came back. First, he started introducing himself with a long story. Like, you know, uh, my name is this. I've been a friend to you. I was wondering, what, what does yeah. this guy want to say? Mm -hmm. So he ended up saying that your dad has been arrested. We want to. I told him, hey, next time you, cut, you come here. Trespassing, don't I come will, here. I will personally arrest you and beat you down with my boys because this is trespassing. I don't know who you are. You, if... Uh, my dad has a problem and you are, you are, you are his friend. friend. Go help him or go to his home, uh, to his house. And seek help. And seek help from there. So the guy came back slowly. To cut the long story short is they wanted to put me in those trouble, but mm -hmm. I stayed away from it. Yeah. So when they realized things were so hard, because they thought maybe I would say, oh, my dad has been arrested. Here's the money. Really, really. Yeah. Now they realized it's not the way they had planned. So the case went to court. To cut the long story short is, actually, the court has been watching our videos. For the longest time. For the longest. <laughs> the judge <So> is like... <laughs> the, the judge was like, wait, are you so and so and so? Uh, the way we know that home, they cannot do this. Because my dad, they had put this case on him. Which is not even true. Which How is can not I come and cut your cut sugar, sugar cane? Over six months? You've never reported. And it's not even true. There's no evidence There's that no you did that or anything. And it's not that it was just my dad. Plus many Plus others. Plus many others, but they picked on my dad saying it's him who. So the case was withdrawn. withdrawn because there was no evidence. And even the, the amount of money they were asking, 25000 is ambiguous. Guys, here in the village, you can never farm sugarcane and sell that money. Even one million, that is hilarious. Even 5000 Even, 5, even 5000 Here, if, if it goes too much, 3, it can 000. be 3000 US. That is like, really, you've harvested everybody. And that is a large piece of a land, hectares and hectares. And, hectares and, hectares. and you, are, you are farming with tractors and everything. Like, hey, that's so guys, we've, we've seen really, We've we've been through experiences that yeah. we would not wish anyone of you to share. That's why sometimes you guys may say, "Oh, Marwa, it's like this, it's like that." But we're also trying to protect ourselves. Yeah, I've given you two cases there. Uh, you know, me, I've seen a lot of betrayals. The only thing is they can't put me down. They have tried. <laughs> They have tried, tried. But you know, that's yeah. the good thing. When yeah. you're being, you're, like, it's so funny, you know. Yeah. They'll say so many things, but we're still there thriving. We Every still day. have people watch our videos. We yes, we still you have. You know, because, you because know, it's some, nothing close to reality. Yes, you know? and some so, people can see the truth in between. Mm -hmm. Because me, I strongly believe, like, if you are an honest man, you can see the truth that we are saying. You can yeah. always see it. But if you have different motives, oh, how did this guy just make it like this and they left me here? You'll always see the sad side. Yeah. Yes. Even me, the experience I've, fa I've faced in different places with very close friends. Hey, it's a tricky situation. It's a tricky situation. Very close friends. Very close very. friends. Very. And so, these are people who came like, hey, you know, you my, uh, I'm, hey. I'm your big fan. I love to watch. Uh, Lele, let me host you. Hey, Mara. Hey. That, hey, from the, actually, from those experiences, that's even what made yeah. me to be like, hey. Me, I don't trust people who do... Con Mostly when you're in the same... Sp even when somebody hosts me, I want to be in my own space, yeah. do my own thing. Yes. And one thing that you taught me is, D, if you don't have problems with people, never stay in somebody's place more than two, two days. days. Yeah. Leave. That's one leave. thing me I've learned from experience. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not unless, like, it's the only option. Fourth and back, uh, you have no any other. Maybe you've lost your passport or something. That's when you can... Yeah. Uh, you can say, okay, I'll be here. Mm -hmm. But if you're free, you're able to move. 
just at just most avoid. two days, just you avoid. Know, just avoid. Yeah. And the end of the day, you know, you you God knows. You know me. What I normally move with is God yeah. knows who the I truth. am. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> These are the people I don't even have yeah, time yeah, to clarify. Yeah, yeah. He knows who I am. He yeah. keeps blessing me every day. Yeah. Nothing stops ever. So me and, normally move with that. And sometimes uh, this criticism. Sometimes I always find it's too much on us, especially. Mm-hmm our family if somebody doesn't say d it's or, not or marwa <laughs> the video is not going anywhere so so they will even see my gambut like this and and, and bring a problem with my gambut somebody will even say why is d putting on a dera at home oh, yeah, on, yeah. on her birthday it's yeah. crazy <laughs> <laughs> but again if you see it from a bigger picture me i see it as a blessing yeah. that 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 instead you become the topic mm-hmm. you know you know you become the topic you make the headline you make the headline and it's crazy though. it's okay you yeah, know yeah but above all we human beings we are human beings we also yeah. we also but have Mara, getting yeah. to inquire who is who when they come to your place it's, it's very not important. bad it's, it's, it's in your very, home yeah it's in your home you have yeah to you know. have the rights you have the right to so say so anyone who will say no. oh why are you doing this to her or why are you doing this to him My but friend. this is our home hmm. yes there is a fence there is a gate I can't come Even to your home like that. Even those who are like watching, you, yeah. so, nobody can just come to your to home. To your home like know. that. Even you, us who yes. go to other people's homes, home. they are aware. They're we really are going. aware we, we are, are going. going. Yes, you guys. know, and it's because of A, B, C, D. That, we don't just... Actually, for us, we overdo it. Yeah. We overdo it. There's no content creators who do content. Even those who criticize us that welcome people as... Well. In their home. Never, never, yeah, yeah, never, yeah, yeah. never, 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 never. So yeah. guys, we keep learning and because of experiences, now you try to be more vigilant yes. about life, you know? And guys, this does not mean that we don't want visitors. Mm-hmm. Oh, my dad is coming from the farm. My dad is the <laughs> most amazing guy. Imagine your kids are rich, but you show up like this. <laughs> Daddy yeah. loves the farm. Yeah, but he will live long. Yeah, he's so, 61. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daddy, we are filming a video. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Why did you decide this hard life, Daddy, like this? This one is not a hard life. Hey, what is it? This is no more good life. <laughs> it is no more good life. life yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. fact, we have to work hard. Okay. All through okay. until the last day. <laughs> okay. There's no way out. Yeah. Without working hard, we cannot get something at the table. Wow. Then Gen Z, you're the most lazy people no. the world has no, ever the seen. Gen Z is me, I don't like them. I don't <laughs> like them. They want things to be brought to the table <laughs> without working you hard. Can, you wake up at night. You remember when you were young. Yeah. If you wake up uh, late than uh, five. Five, uh, yeah. Even, 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 even up to this time. Yeah. Me by four, I'm just almost w- going out. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> And this is the way I would work out throughout the day. What what would you advise us, Dad, in mm. trying to help people mm. in either maybe society, friends, family, oh. but at the same time trying mm. to be cautious that the same people will not try to bring us down? No, in fact, what you do in many cases, yeah, it is good to help. Okay. It is godly. Okay. But you should always assess who is in need. Okay. Assist in need people. Okay. Sometimes when you assist the people who are not hard working, sometimes yeah, they will always be less all through. Yeah, and but we shall not move to the next level. I we need everybody to work hard. Sometimes they come yeah. like they are really in need. Mm-mm. You have to assess them. Okay. Not because they, they tell you exactly what they want. Okay. You have to assess whether they are really people who have uh, some assistance or not. Okay. Mm. Wow. A because, quite a number of people be, do not want to work Because hard. we are trying to gauge, like, okay, mm. we have a family member who needs help, yes. or we have a friend who needs help. Mm. But at the same time, we've hosted people here, even you, you've seen some. Yeah. And then they turn out to be... <laughs> <laughs> to be the worst. But one thing I know, yeah. that is normal with human beings. Okay. You ask is to help them. And, and wash your hands. Them. Other things go to... Me, I go, I go with that principle yeah. also. <laughs> Me, I go with you that. just assist them where you, where you can, and other things. You leave it on God. Yeah, God will always award and, you. And God will deal with them also, <laughs> yes. according to their own yeah. needs. But in many cases, yeah. assess who is really in need. Okay. Somebody with the hands, somebody with the legs, somebody who is not, somebody who is not disabled yeah. should be asked to go down and work.
Okay. Maybe what you can do is to start a, a, a project for that person. Okay. And see whether that they can they can yeah. Hey, yeah. In that way, yeah. Somebody can always uh, get food all through. Yeah. But project. when you assist the money, yeah, he eats no, everything, no. and tomorrow he comes, he comes to you back. again. Oh, yeah. And if you don't yeah. give him tomorrow, mm. they see you as now. Yeah, hey, as an uh, enemy now. Yeah, you are, you've you changed. You have really changed. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, so try to assist somebody in a way that you'll be able to continue now. Yeah, their own their out. own things. Mm. But you see, at the same time, also like mm. we've helped people. Some people have been very successful. Yes, and and we we take pride to in like fact, wow. Those ones who have assisted and they yeah. have been very successful. Yeah, they normally come behind and they say thank, thank you, you so thank much. you. Yeah, I've met a quite a number yeah. who you have assisted always. They have come to me telling me, oh. Without your your sons, without Maybe, your daughter, we would we'll not be, be what here. we are. And some of them, they have even come with some rewards to me. Yeah, yeah. In fact, some of them, they are like, came, oh, came, Diana came. came. Uh, came with 10,000 shillings. Oh, you know, Diana came. Actually, if you didn't bring her to me, uh, me, I would, I would not even have you known. You would not assist uh, Yeah, because now. But when they pass through me. And you know, you, Diana came now has a house. Uh, is living. Uh, yeah, I just had Bichebe here. I've told her Bichebe here. Very good. You need to visit. She's a very successful girl. She yeah. came to me saying, I, without you, I would not be what I am. That is true. Get 10,000 shillings and pass. Wow, came. Wow, <laughs> wow. Yeah, you know she was staying here and then yeah, yeah, so I was yeah. like, Kim, do videos. Oh dear, yeah, don't yeah. have a phone and yeah, all that. And yeah. I told her, okay, I think I gave her like ten or twelve thousand. Yeah. Even we have another okay. yeah. You now also mm. go ask somebody to top up so mm. you buy a better phone. Mm -hmm. For sure she went and did that. Mm. And she started creating videos and she's really working hard. Mm. Now know? she has a house, she has yeah, a home. She, you see mm. now beautiful she, home. Mm. Even there's that guy, uh uh B Babushka, the one yeah. who has has has, yeah, has deformity in her le in his legs. I don't know if you remember this kid. Yeah, he came here and there was a kid who used to walk. Oh yes, that guy now is superstar. Oh, that's ah, good. Yeah, yeah. That's he's good. he's on TV. Yeah, he's those are the people who can be assisted. You know, he's and somebody who is very serious. Once yes. you have assisted him, yeah. he has to move to the next level. Like the one now you are talking. about. Guys, go check this guy called Babushka Kenya. Imagine yeah. that guy. We contributed. Me and my sister, we contributed <laughs> money. <laughs> we gave him money to go and buy a phone. Yes. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Then he started put, doing TikTok videos yes. and all that and all Now that. on TikTok he has over a million followers. Mm -hmm. On Instagram he's over I don't know yeah. three hundred. Like yeah. he's he's on TV doing commercials okay. with with the biggest shopping malls, okay. banks yeah. in Kenya. Uh -huh. Imagine. In fact, what you are doing is good. Like there is another person your sister. I think he's from Rwanda. I'm a, yeah. yeah, from Rwanda. Yeah. He came, I met him at, uh, at, uh, at Nyabuhansa town. Yeah. He told me, ah, you are the father tomorrow. Mara yeah. says to me, I'm in a big way, let me go to my bed and buy you a sheep. Oh, he, he went to my bed and bought a goat. Oh. He brought it here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think wow. he has tea or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Really yeah. nice. So sometimes it's it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, you know, the difficulty is, yeah. is trying to to be safe, yeah. but at the same time help. And also me, I'm afraid when I closed my gate and say I don't want anybody. Mm, because so also sometimes God can mm. can say, oh, you know, I've really helped you so in much. Fact, uh, in general, what I can say, yeah, if you are able to assist, yeah. have that mentality of assisting. Other yeah. things, yeah. you yeah. leave it on, on, on God. Uh, yeah. Because sometimes you see even where we came from, that like we used to get rained on. In your bohanse and all this, anyway. you know, I used to keep mm. pigeons to make money. <laughs> God has really assisted us. Yeah, you in know. fact, in the whole of this village, they yeah. know where we have come from. Yeah, and yeah, at the know. moment, yeah, if you can ask them, yeah. Who, who is the richest person in this area? Even that yeah. time, actually. They, they, they can always tell, tell you on that is the richest. They think yeah. that I have a lot of money inside the house. Yeah. They don't know that I sometimes also strain. Strain and work hard <laughs> the way with gum boots. Yeah. yeah. But I think there are some people who have always come to me. I've yeah. said, hey, your hard work has paid. Oh. You used to work hard with uh, donkeys. Yeah, we used guys. We didn't even have a car. <laughs> we used to have we used donkeys. To have donkeys. One and day the they nearly. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nearly died. I nearly died one time here. <laughs> hey. So sometimes they say, "Hey, you person, we know where you have come from. Yeah. You used to work with the donkeys. Imagine now, you have nice now. cars. <laughs> we sometimes give a testimony that Kumbe God remembers hardworking people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, like me, one of the things that I always appreciate is yeah. being raised by really strict parents. Yeah. When I say strict, and I hard mean working strict also. and hard, hard work. Working. You cannot survive here if you're a lazy person. No, you like that, you cannot survive. I've never liked when such people. When he calls you, you go by running. <laughs> yeah. You run. 
In fact, in yeah. fact, life requires people who can work hard. And that oh, it's so slow, people. Not you today, be tomorrow, slow. you are not working. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. becomes your habit that you have to work hard always. Yeah. In that way, you can always succeed and move to the next level, and people will always start wondering what has happened. Yeah, like me, sometimes I wonder with my dad. He would easily run a, a business, but he prefers going hardcore, you know. Like, you can even remember when we were in Tanzania. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. we were in Tanzania, I, we, I was heading a very big school in yes. Tanzania called Babicast. Yes. I used to take a flight from Dar es Salaam yes. to Mwanza. Uh, to yes. Mwanza. Yes. From Mwanza, I take a vehicle so that I can reach here in time. Yeah. I try to go around my activities and see the progress. Yeah. Oh, but when I realized that people cannot work without without me, yeah, I resigned yeah. and came back home. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to manage home activity. Yeah. And I think yeah. God has really assisted us. No, he has. Where we are. he has. You know, no. far away. Hmm? It's uh, it's I uh, I can't even imagine. I can't. It is uh, by the grace, I friend. And uh, once we work hard, yeah, uh, all things are possible. Hi uh, guys, all are possible. sister, you can be here. I take a thumbnail. Yeah. So we, I think this way, my that you can come in. in the, in the sand. Okay, guys, uh, that is it. Ah, yeah. Thank you. See you in the next video. Say yeah. bye bye. Guys, thank you so much. May God bless you. Continue supporting Amara. Thank you, guys. He's a wonderful young man in the village. He has assisted yeah. quite a number of people. Yes. And if you continue supporting him in a big way, you'll do the same. May God bless you abundantly. And, guys, I'll put my aunt's YouTube channel here. Yeah. Uh, I think her name is uh, Tina, Maroa. Tina Maroa. So you can go and support her. And thank you. Or, Tina, you want to come and say. Okay, let her come so we end the video there. Mm. Daddy, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, 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 I work praise me, I like it. Uh, yeah, Daddy. Yeah. Yes. As I just came randomly here to to, to see my sister. Yeah. Sina. Yes. God will help you, you know. Yes. Yes. And when you succeed, mm -hmm. uh, you always put us in a good place in your heart. Yeah, yes, definitely. That, that is all. Yes. Yeah, so uh, yeah. you want uh, some shout for me? Yes, maybe here so in the yeah. shade it's much better. So thank you. Guys, this is Tina. How many views now you have, Tina? Uh, uh, not views, but I mean subscribers. Um, 2.9. And you've, three. you've monetized or no? I want to check. It was almost like four... Or 400 remaining 400 watch By hours yesterday, okay yeah. okay yeah, so i'll check it will get there, yeah, get there. all right guys please go support my aunt tina maroa and we'll see you in the next one say bye 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 see you. all i need is you baby baby Over. how much do i need to party here in jamaica Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. So I'm officially saying goodbye to Japan. As you see, sir, welcome to Japan. Where is Elisa? Soy de España. I'm heading to.